Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pathways of Media. I'll be your host, Quentin. We have a very special guest, Kalia, in studio here with us today. What's up, what's up? Not too much. Just going to talk to you a little bit <sighs> and find out what it is to uh, the two letters that cause a little bit of confusion. DJ, all right? Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay, so I hear that Kalia is a DJ. Is that correct, first of all? You're hearing right. You're hearing right. I'm multifaceted, okay. but we'll talk about DJing today. All right, so uh, how did you first become to get interested in DJ, first of all? Well, my dad and my older brother are both DJs, so like the turntables were always in the house. So I just showed I you a picture you. a minute ago of me at like four just touching the turntable. So Super it was always cute. around. I, it was always around. Okay, okay, okay. And um, would, you, would you say it was those two gentlemen that inspired you to get into DJ? Yeah, I mean, they just, they just gave, me the, they gave me the learning tools, you know what I mean? It was there mm -hmm. and it was just at my discretion, it was at my beck and call. So I was like, okay, well, if I want to do this, I can do it. And I chose to do it. Oh, so I see. It was always around, so you just yeah. had access to it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, um, uh, do you have a DJ name? Well... I go by Bacon Bear. Don't get it confused. I'm not DJ Bacon Bear. Just I'm Bacon not, Bear. I'm just Bacon Bear that can do a lot of things, but I'm a DJ, yeah. Bacon Bear, okay, but okay, okay. Um, what about this, your experience and uh, how many shows have you performed? <sighs> um, Probably 10 or more, I don't know. It, it kind of, yeah, probably like 10 or more. I'd okay, say. okay, any recent shows? Um, Actually, I was showing my, some of my classmates um, a show that I did for Verizon Center for the, what are they called? The Wizards. Mm -hmm. um, and I did that one in January, and I've got another show probably in two weeks. So oh, here at good, the school, yeah, so. That's good stuff. Okay, so you're representing for the DMV, so to speak. I like that. Oh, I'm not that. from here. I'm not from here. Where but are you I from? Do this. I'm from Kansas, actually. Kansas, okay. Kansas. I haven't been there. That's one of the 50 states I have not it's, been It's to. grass. Just lots of grass. I keep The bluegrass state, is that right? That's Kentucky. No, um, the sunflower state. Gotcha. Maybe that's it, I think. Wow, all right. Well, I don't know anything about DJing, so what, what are some of the most important things you could tell someone like me about DJing that every DJ should uh, probably know? Okay, well, just for any art or any craft, you have to make sure that you're paying homage to those that pay, come before you. Very um, true. A common misconception is that you can just buy a controller, you buy your little $50 setup or your $100 setup, and then go out there. It's not like that. You have to start at the basics. You need to be able to bend to blend properly, you need to know what BPMs are, you need to, mm -hmm. actually, honestly, you need to start with a turntable, an actual turntable. Mm -hmm. um, I just moved over into controller when I was like, uh, needing some more portableness. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, to begin with, definitely you need to start there. Okay, okay, and then, um, do you have a, do you spend all types of music, or do you have a specific genre that you say you would specialize in? Um, I like it all, and I can do it all. I, I can like, yeah, I can do it all, I'd say. So you're, you're, you're international, <coughs> you know, we can play anything from Excuse country me. to rock and roll to hip hop to dub. Yeah. So oh, all get out. To all your favorite pop songs if you want to listen to Britney Spears and Katy Perry and get down. So Bacon Bear from Kansas does it all. All right, well, I'll tell you what, um, I'm excited to meet you. And uh, of oh, course, nice to you too, Mr. I, I want to see you uh, get out and do your thing. Maybe I can learn something. I was going to say, I'm going I'm to teach you today, actually. This is demonstration. I get a real lesson. So, we're going to try. We're going to see what you got. All right. Well, I tell you what, if, if you can teach me how to DJ, you probably can teach anyone how to DJ. So when we come back, right here live in the studio, we'll have a very live performance from Kalia, a.k.a. Bacon Bear, on the ones and twos right One here two. on That's Pathways two. of Media. We'll be right back. All right. Awesome. My love. My love, ooh, my love. A winner never quits, and a quits and never wins. All right, we're back right here at Pathways of Media with my very special guest, Kalia. Hey, hey, hey. And all this stuff here is something very fantastic. She's going to teach me how to DJ. So, uh, first of all, what is all this stuff? Okay, so like I said, we always start on, 
we actually start on vinyl turntables, but you know, okay. I was gonna lug it out. So this is a controller. This is a Pioneer DDJ, DDJSR. So this DDJ is SR. this is what I take when I'm trying to run quickly and get there and turn up quick. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So this is like a this is a I mean a new advancement in technology, and this is kind of standard for DJs. Um. No, this is if you're trying to move a little bit quicker. A lot of people are going this way because it's got your mixer and it's got both your decks right there. Oh, okay. So. Okay, okay. Well, uh, what's the first thing? I mean, I'm ready to get into it. <sighs> okay, all right. So this is this is a song that I got one of my first good blends in. So, okay. We're going to start here, actually. Wow. Okay, so you know this song, right? Of course. This is okay. the Dougie. All right, so I gave you an instrumental here. So... Each song can go either this slow or it can go this fast. Gotcha. So blending is pairing up two BPMs that sound the same. So we're going to start here. Why don't you come over here and see your hand? I put my hands on it? Yeah, put your hand on that. You hold that right there. Got it. And when you think it's on beat, you let go. All right, we're close. Try it again. Again. There, you're almost there. Almost there. This is harder than I thought. Excellent, excellent. So now you got words in. That was right? Look. You got on both sides. You got on both sides now. So, exactly. So, okay. All right. that's pretty much the basis of what you're doing. One point for Q, one point for you Q. You did it, All you right. did it. That's the, that's the easy part. But then you got to blend two things that don't necessarily go together. Like, a lot of people can't do that. Like, I know you made it easy for me. I already had it set up. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And, um,. So you did that even without your headphones and all that? Yeah, you kind of learn to see it and you learn to hear it. I mean, because every song, again, has a BPM. So this song runs at 85 BPM. So it counts for beats per minute. If you clap like BPM this. BPM is beats per minute. Yeah, if you can clap like this, you can keep beat with the song. So I tap my foot. or I, Every DJ has a special head nod. I make fun of my brother all the time because he goes like this. Like he has That's a his thing, though. Yeah, but I have um, everybody. Bacon Bear's got e her own Everybody's thing. got their own once you get into it. All it's right. like a head nod. Well, Okay, so I got a question. You played one of my favorite songs by, by the coincidence, but um, how do you pick your music for the crowd? Do you have your own set playlist, or do you cater to the to your audience? I like what I like, and I'm gonna just play some background music here, so we can have some some sound here. Um, Real DJ. So I like to pick what I like, honestly. I'll, I'll tailor to the crowd, but I like what I like, and I hope right. people will come see what I want to play too. You know? Okay, so it's your own style, yeah. and then. Um, I know for myself that I've noticed all over the TV, internet, that DJ has got to be really, really popular. And everyone's picking up, you know, just to say they're a DJ. Well, how do, you, how do you feel about that? Is this something that only a few people can do? Or is this something that anyone can do? Sorry, that's my favorite song. I had to turn it off right I got here. You, I get I got turned. You. Um, it's kind of it's kind of like a calling. I think a lot of people get tied up in the glamour of it. They think that they oh I'm gonna go out there and rock this party because I know a lot of music. Mm -hmm. It is more of like even a science and there's a passion compared to it. If you can do that, then more power to you. But if you don't have that passion, it'll definitely show when you get on stage and you will embarrass Okay. Uh, last question. I've been wanting to ask you this since you've been on the set today. Uh, obviously, you are a lady DJ. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. And uh, I guess that means, you know, it's a lot of male DJs more so than female. How do you feel about being a female DJ in the entertainment industry? Um, Any problems or is yeah. it all good? Yeah, it changes the ball game for me a little bit because it's like the question of do I want to over-sexualize myself to have people book me or do I want my talent to speak louder? Personally, I let my, ta my talent speak louder. I exactly. was hoping you said talent. I mean, talent. you see no, no V-neck shirt and I'm wearing At pants, all. you know what I mean? I let my talent speak a little bit louder than that. Um, you have the men. I've actually been to events before where I'll be DJing and dudes will step over onto my turntable and be like, oh, you're not doing that right, you're not doing this. You back up because this is my turntable and I'm doing my thing. So it becomes a matter. It's a, it's like a power play, and once you okay. stick it, once you put your foot down, as soon as you get there, they don't miss. Now you. let me ask you something. So once you have that kind of friction from the guys, you guys got to chill out, man. She's you got to leave her alone, you leave her alone, man. So after you throw down on the ones and twos, does that kind of subside a little bit, and they respect the talent? Yeah, it's almost like it's they get captivated. They get this shocked look in their eyes, like, well, now I feel stupid for doing it. But you so. come from a, a line of DJ, so it's in your blood. I mean, again, so I mean, I got I got my. Uh, my manager, she also guns for me. She's not gonna let anybody mess with me, and I got my dad if I really needed to to really get out. Oh, you're so saying you got backup to the backup hey, to the backup. I don't really need it because you know I got it. But yeah, you they, look like there. you got it going they're on. There. All right, so what's one thing you have you ever had a show, and things went wrong, at the show? I mean, like you're live in front of an audience and things go wrong. And what do you do in that situation? All right, I'm gonna, spare, I'm gonna share a special story. I've never told this story to anybody. Okay. I feel I feel alright. Okay, so okay. here we go. 
So I was DJing in Brooklyn and I drove five hours like right after class. I like sprinted all the way to New York, got to New York and I get there and the party promoter didn't like invite anybody. There was like nobody there. There was like, there was like 10 people. No way. And those 10 people were like mostly my friends <laughs> that okay. I brought with me. Okay, so, so I'm doing my thing, I'm doing my thing. And these people are having the time of their lives and it happened to be one of the best DJ shows I've ever did. There was very minimal people, but these people were having the time of their lives screaming and falling out on the floor and dancing and having a good time. And that was the best and the worst time ever. So which is intimate, you and your friends hanging out it, okay. it, became, it became that. It was just me and a bunch of my friends dancing. You know, I even hopped out the turntables for a second and got in the crowd and did my thing on the floor a little bit. You know? Wow. Okay. Now, I always notice, like, um, uh, when I see DJs in the club, how do you deal with? I'm the guy that always requests. You know, you could be mixed, and I'll, and I'll just say, "Hey, DJ, play this song." And I know it's probably aggravating. Don't ever ask a DJ. That. <laughs> Don't ever like never. I always in, do that. Never in your life ask for any requests because I will ignore you. Like, but I just, want my jam I, though. You know what? Maybe at the end of the party, I'll think about it. But I'm thinking of so many other things. I'm trying to rock this party in my way, and you're disturbing my peace right now, man. You hear that, guys? She just told Don't request you, nothing. No requests.com. <laughs> All right, um, what about this? Do you also MC while you're DJing? I'm capable, I've got the charisma for it. Um, I, I haven't really gotten into that realm, really. Talking and doing, I can do one or the other, but I don't know if I've got the multitasking. I've, I've always wanted to know how to DJ, because I think it's a mind trip um, for you to be able to do what you do, is in a sense you can play a song, and then we hear that song, and then in this ear over here, there's something else. You're listening to a totally different song, but you're able to do that listen to this song, and then also um, you're able to get ready to play another song. I see, see that, but that's part of the difficulty. When people have a request, you don't realize that I'm hearing another song over here, I'm listening to this song, I'm reacting oh, to you guys. It's like, you got, you, all these you got all these questions, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Well, can you do me a huge favor before you get out uh -oh, of here? Uh -oh. Bacon Bear, just uh -oh. give me a little something for the people. Uh -oh. Please get ready to rock out. Y'all give it up. This is Kalia, a.k.a. Bacon Bear. Rock out, girl. Okay, this is where we're going with this. All right. Let's start this over here. One minute. All right. Come out and play out. Crush a lot. Oh yeah, now we rocking. Right, exactly. Hey, now we rocking, see? The party is started with ladies and gentlemen. Y'all gotta follow her. I'm sure she's all over hey. social media and the web. You can follow me at littlebaconbear.com. Littlebaconbear.com. And on Instagram and Twitter at, at littlebaconbear. That's little bacon bear, the whole thing. Thank you for spelling it correctly. Well, I'm gonna reach out and connect you on social media. I'm already a fan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I told you we have very special guests. This has been Pathways of Media. I was your host, Quentin. Please give it up for thank Bacon you, Bear, thank a.k.a. You, thank you. Kalia. Thank you, guys. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for having me. It was I awesome. I really appreciate it. Nice meeting you, man. Most def definitely. Thank you. Are we good? I guess I'll keep this today, so. Let's just keep rocking this. The end again. <laughs> I wish I could hardly shake. <laughs> I got one dance with this one. That's all I want. I can do that one. That's easy. <laughs> you can't like two steps. They say hit the wheels. Oh, I want you to say it out.